I love all of the Army. And there are so many parts that I was so worried about that I wouldn't make it through. It's been an experience, an incredible experience. And I look back and it's more fun than anything now. Everything's fun. Everything's as fun as you make it. If you get like to jump in big mud puddles, they let you do that here. If you like to climb monkey bars, they let you do that here. If you like to climb down 65 foot cargo nets, they let you do that here. If you like to rappel down walls, that's also something you get to do here that you probably won't ever do in the civilian world. From civilian to warrior, we are warriors. I joined the Army because I wanted a challenge and I didn't really want to go straight to college. Basic training is built for you to succeed. All you got to do is give the effort. Once you give the effort, the drill sergeants will see that and they'll make sure you succeed. And your battle buddies will see that and they'll make sure you succeed. At first as a civilian, you feel like you can't complete, but then when you complete it, you're like, I wish I could do it all over again. The surprise of basic combat training was actually the relationship that developed with our drill sergeants. The drill sergeant mission is to get us together to work and function as a team so that we can accomplish the goal that they set ahead of us. Our entire company is like a big family now. We all care about each other greatly. You find a lot of a lot of really good relationships and friendships that can be built here. We're all different and after being here for a few weeks we all become one. Stereotypes don't really happen here. It's not really a gender thing. We just all have our jobs to do. We're all soldiers. We all wear the same uniform. In week one, you basically start out with a whole bunch of people you probably would have never met in your life, from New York City to California to Illinois. And everybody comes from different backgrounds. When we first get here, there's a week of reception. And reception isn't really basic training. It's just getting all the paperwork in order, getting your shots and all of that. Make sure your name and social is correct and signed. Put your boots on, stand back up. Kind of tight here. Should be a little space there. During red phase, we are in control of these soldiers at all times. There is a drill sergeant right behind them at all times. But once they grasp the concept that, you know, the drill sergeant is there for them, that we're there, you know, to help them out and to see them graduate, and they feel that we really care about them, you start to see a change and you start to see them get more motivated because by that time we're starting to do a lot, you know, fun events are going on, you know, they're working together as a team better. Once you realize, you know, the only way you're going to get through is work together and they, the drill sergeants put that into you, things start going a lot smoother. That's probably the neatest part. White face is just a little more easy than, than red face, a little bit more privileged, like they just trust us a little bit more in white face. White face was BRM, which was when we were practicing and qualifying for our M16s, which was fun when we got to actually go to the ranges and show what we had learned with our M16s. Basic rifle marksmanship was hard because of the different ranges you go to. They're set up in different ways. So once you get used to one, they take you to another one and, and try to get you used to, to firing at different, different obstacles. We actually teach them how to shoot the M16A2 rifle. That phase right there is where they gain the most pride in themselves, the most confidence in themselves. Basically, we had about 16 rounds to shoot off. Within those 16 rounds, we had to at least group six rounds in a row. Grouping meaning has to be in a certain area. It doesn't matter if it's on the target or not, as long as in a certain vicinity. I'm really happy today because I qualify. Um, I hit six rounds in a certain vicinity and uh, was zeroed and grouped. Some people we have that don't qualify, they get really frustrated because they didn't qualify with the M16 and they think they're not going to graduate. But you know, we just help coach them, let them know what they're doing wrong. And then we take them back out there, you know, and help them out so that they can qualify. I'm looking forward to shooting my rifle a lot more, um, going to the rifle ranges and shooting targets, moving targets, um, shooting targets in different positions. Right now, I'm pretty much on a good path to being almost to perfection. <laughs> In blue phase, the drill sergeants actually let us as soldiers begin to work and take care of things our own. Blue phase is pretty much uh, where we're doing more with the weapons. Uh, the other day we did U.S. weapons. 
Take the N16 magazine, insert it into the magazine well at an upward 45 degree angle until it locks. Now you're gonna use what we call the cheek to knuckle method. I'm gonna turn my head slightly sideways at a 45 degree angle, take my firing eye and line it up down the barrel and aim my sights up on my target. U.S. Weapons is where privates first learn all the automatic weapons. The 50 cal machine gun, the M240 Bravo, the M249, the Mark 19, the AT4, and the M203. It was really cool to see it all, everybody fire down at once and how much uh, firepower the Army actually has. Today we got to experience a little bit of riding and seeing how it would be like if we were actually on a convoy in Iraq or Afghanistan or wherever we would be. Whenever they do get over to Iraq or Afghanistan, they need to be situationally aware. They will go through urban operations where they will learn how to do actual missions and attack a village. Our mission was to recover a, a hostage that was taken by hostile enemies. We countered uh, some friendly civilians and a lot of insurgents. And we do it by squad. You know, we clear each building where we know that the hostage was being held. Take the room, make sure it's clear. Take cover! There was a big explosion and that was a, kind of a shock to get the insurgents to kind of lose their battleground so we can move in and get our hostage back. And I was part of the squad that did get the hostage out safely. It was a lot of fun. I, uh, things I would have never, never experienced in the civilian world. The changes that I made here are some very important ones. Learning respect for myself and for other individuals. It's an amazing transformation that you see in yourself, in every soldier who comes in with you. My name is Private Eric Green, and I just completed basic training at Fort Lenawood, Missouri. Good morning, everybody. Today is the end of basic training and the beginning of AIT, a very good day for us. Sad because I'm leaving my platoon that I've grown to love and care about so much, but prepared and ready for my next obstacle ahead. <laughs>